There may be many reasons why you have your website hosted locally, whether it be testing new features or if you want to fully design your website locally before hosting it live on the web. Now, if you're ready to move your website from your local host to your live web host, keep watching because I'll show you how to do that in a few easy steps. If you think about it on a basic level, a website just consists of files and folders, right? So all we're going to be doing is packing up the files and folders on a local server and moving it onto a web host and unpacking it onto that web host. So all we're going to be doing is installing a plugin onto a local website and we're going to be exporting a backup file of our website and then unpacking it onto a web host onto a new WordPress website. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Yaz from Brainstorm Force and we're the team behind the most popular WordPress theme out there, Astra. And we create content about our latest product updates as well as tutorials for beginners and non-coders. So if you don't want to miss out on any of that content, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on notifications. All right, here we are on the computer. And before we get started, I just want to go through a little bit of a checklist to make sure you have everything you need before we start this tutorial. And the first thing obviously you need is your local website that you want to move onto your live web host. For this demonstration, I've created this demo website by installing a brand new install of WordPress onto my locally hosted website. And I'm using local by flywheel to set that up. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. And if you guys want to learn how to host a website locally on your own machine, please let me know in the comments down below and we'll look into making a video tutorial about that for you guys. And for this website, I've gone ahead and installed the Astra theme onto a brand new install of WordPress. And Astra comes with all these amazing pre-built starter templates that you can install at a click of a button, just like this amazing catering themed template. And all these features, all these buttons, menus, all the really cool widgets all come with Astra at a click of a button. If you're interested in checking that out, I'll leave a link in the description below. And the second thing you'll need is a domain name. And then from there, you'll also need a hosting plan and WordPress installed on that domain. But a hosting provider we recommend is SiteGround. SiteGround provides a range of different plans to suit any budget. And they're really reliable and they have amazing support. And it's really easy to install WordPress on SiteGround once you have your domain name and hosting plan set up. I'll leave a link for SiteGround in the description below as well. So here are the two plugins that we're going to be using. So the one I like to use is called All-in-One WP Migration. And you might have seen me use this plugin in other tutorials as well, such as moving your website from one host to the other. I'll leave a link in the top right of your screen or in the description below. And this plugin is really simple to use and it works really well. And one thing to note with WP All-in-One Migration is that you're only allowed to back up a maximum of 300 megabytes with the free version of this plugin. Anything more than that, you'll need to pay for the premium version. But I've got you covered for that as well. If your website is larger than 300 megabytes, you can go ahead and use this alternative plugin here called Backup and Migration WP Vivid. This is a free plugin and you can do the exact same steps with this. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. But in this tutorial, we'll be using WP All-in-One Migration. This is just because it works really well and I'm sure it's going to be more than enough for most beginner level users. All right, so now we're going to go into our WordPress dashboard of our local website. Okay, here we are now on the dashboard of our local website, and we're going to go ahead and install the WP All-in-One Migration plugin. So to do that, we're going to go on the bottom left of the menu here and go to Plugins and go to Add New. And on the right-hand side where it has a search plugins, we're going to type in WP All-in-One Migration. And even typing in WP All-in-One, the first one you see here, that's the one we want to install. We're going to press Install Now. And once it's installed, you can press activate. Awesome. So the plugin is now installed and you'll notice on the left hand side here, you have a menu for this plugin as well. We're going to go over here and press export. Awesome. So now we're going to just going to click here, export to. And we're going to export to file, but it also gives you options to export into any cloud storage option that you prefer, including Dropbox, Google Drive and more. But in this case, we're just going to export to a file. So we're going to click that here. So now it's going to pack up all the content on our website, including databases, the content, everything. It's going to make it into one small little file. As you can see here, it says 6,279 content files, and it's currently 22% complete. Now it's exporting the database. So you can see now that the backup file is ready to download, and it's 146 megabytes. I'm just going to download that now. And once that's downloaded, we're going to close this. If you'd like to, you can go ahead and remove this plugin now. You can just go into plugins and remove the plugin now, deactivate and remove the plugin if you don't want to use that anymore on your local website. 
And now I'm going to go onto my live web hosted WordPress website. And as you can see here, it's a clean, brand new install of WordPress. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go into plugins, add new. I'm going to search for WP all in one. And it's this one again right here. I'm going to press install now. I'm going to activate it once again. On the left hand side, we see the menu, but this time what we're going to do is go and press import. So all we do now is we're going to drag the backup file that we created and we're going to upload it onto a live WordPress website. It's just like this. So you can drag it and drop it here, or you can open it and browse for the file as well. And you can see that it started to upload everything and now it's done. Just going to wait for it to process. Now it's preparing to import. It's checking everything. It's going to do everything for you. And now this warning indicates that everything on a live website will be overwritten by the content and database everything from the backup file from our local website. We're going to press proceed. And if you have content that you want to keep on your live website, make sure you create a backup. You can use the exact same plugin to do so and keep that aside before restoring a backup from a local machine onto this live website. And there you have it. Your site has been imported successfully. It tells you two different steps here, save permalink structure, and you can also review the plugin if you'd like. Once you click this, save permalink structure, it should open up a new tab. And it's going to ask us to log in once all that's done, because now we've copied our local WordPress website onto the live web host. So we're going to be using the login credentials for our local website on our live website now. So make sure you keep that in handy. We're going to press login. And once you log in, it will take you into your permalinks settings page. Permalinks are basically the URL structure of your pages and blog posts, so you can choose the one that you prefer out of the options here. But most SEOs do prefer post name as it contains the name of the page in the URL. And as you can see here, this is the one that's pre-selected, just as it was on our local site. And we'll just scroll down to the bottom and press Save Changes. And we refresh that. And you can see already that the dashboard has changed quite a lot and it's already brought in all the plugins that we had installed on our local website. So this is the live website we see here. And you can see by the domain name as well. And this is the live website. And over here, this is the local website. As you can see here, it says dot local. So we're going to go ahead onto our live website. We're going to go into, we're going to go and visit our website and to have a look at what it looks like. And there you have it. We've successfully migrated a website from a local machine onto a live web host. Everything that we had on a local machine is currently there on a live web host as is perfectly. And after your migration is complete, I really recommend that you go ahead and audit your website to make sure everything is in order. If you have any contact forms, booking plugins, or e-commerce on your website, it's always a good idea to test the integrations on your website to make sure everything's working as it should. Just one thing to note is that if you have any premium templates that require a license key, you might have to go and reactivate that license key through your plugins menu, just like this one here. And when I was working on the local version of this website, I had this premium template activated with its license code. But now that we've imported it onto the live web host, we need to activate this license once again. It's really easy to do so. You just have to paste your license code in here and activate all the ones that you need to. And that's it. That's all you have to do to move your website from local to live. If you had any questions, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. And that's it for today's tutorial. Before you click away, make sure you subscribe by clicking on the logo over here, or you can watch even more of our WordPress tutorials by clicking on this playlist here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.